Hey guys, my name's I Ride Taz, and I'm just gonna do something very, very Japanesey because I ride <laughs> Japanese bobbers. I'm gonna f stick a bomb an open face helmet. I've done a video before on how to stick a bomb. But we'll go over it again. Uh, just going to sort of burn through. Just have a quick glance at these stickers. Get some ones that are pretty cool. And they'll ultimately go towards the top. And then ones that I'm less worried about. The less cool they can make up the bulk of the coverage for the helmet. These stickers were pretty cheap. I got 400 bucks on eBay. Australian supplier, they came within a week or so. Which is real cool. So by separating them out, you get stuff that you don't really mind being covered at the bottom and then you get all the cool stuff with the brand names and visual things that you think's pretty cool at the top so all this uh, cool panda stuff and Amni stuff, it's all very Japanese and it's going to suit exactly what I'm after for the uh, <laughs> hipster star that can go up the top. So I washed the helmet and then I used some orange spot. I used some orange spot to clean the helmet down and ultimately sort of remove any residue let it dry and uh, here we go so at times you'll need to cut them just so you don't get too many folds in the design And then from there, the uh, straight edges can be used to go up against the GoPro mounts and those sorts of things. So it's all pretty random. Banging them on. In no particular order. And that's the uh, idea of it, is to sort of get just as much coverage as possible. It is harder to do. Oh, that's bloody cool. Batman. Sticking up finger. Yeah, okay, some of those are pretty cool. It's harder to do around surface than a flat surface just try and lie them down as best you can without getting too many wrinkles and the smaller stickers will certainly help that some of those ones with straight edges will help get around those GoPro mounts. When you're looking for your stickers, it's a good idea to get vinyl, not paper, and they'll stick a lot better. And deal with the elements a lot better. In Australia, okay. 
legally you have to have that sticker so we'll just make sure we don't go over it and it's fairly obvious by leaving a little bit of an outline around it start on the other side so that they're not all facing the same way but um the generic coverage done and so I've pushed aside the just mediocre stickers and I started to switch to the cool stickers that I want sitting on top which will help stick down some edges and just uh, increase the colour and just put a few well known images and brands to the top like this little Deadpool yeah. Superman finger will go right at the front <laughs> right so you can see basically the layout of all the stickers Final piece of the puzzle is just to spray acrylic there so it doesn't affect the plastic. Just helps the stickers stay down with changes of temperature and humidity. So guys, final product reveal. This is the sticker bomb helmet in all of its dry, usable glory. So I've uh, laid on all the stickers, generic stickers at the bottom, sort of branded or visually appealing stickers at the top. And then I've clear coated it with acrylic clear that I bought from super cheap for a few bucks let it dry clear coated it again just to help hold the stickers down and give it that nice gloss sheen man i could not be happier with how this has come out it really suits the look i'm going for with the japanese bobbers that i ride at the moment just looks great japanese do sticker bomb better than anyone and hopefully i have done it justice through the sticker bomb helmet that you're looking at there it's pretty cheap it certainly fits the mission of budget bobber build the 400 stickers i bought were 26 bucks off ebay and then the helmet itself i've had it for years it was looking pretty so tired and sorry uh, i think it was only 99 dollars new so let's say less than 150 bucks and a couple of hours worth of work that is the finished product just finally as i mentioned this compliance sticker it's illegal to remove that in australia so for any of my australian friends contemplating this just make sure that sticker is visible don't be tempted as i was to peel it off because then you can't prove that it's adr compliance and then, uh, in, to my knowledge, you stand a chance of getting very heavily fined. It's the same problem with uh, importing helmets from America that are DOT approved and things like that. So just be aware that that 
sticker needs to be visible. Don't be tempted to take it off. Well, guys, that's Budget Bob build number 21 done and dusted. My name's R.O. Taz. I'm out. See you next time.